Evan, if I asked you if dildo throwing was a thing, what would you answer? Uh, I mean, I, I, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. See, I would have said no uh, before this week. I caught something on Twitter. It, it ended up in our feed somehow. But somebody posted a picture of somebody's face, and, and it looked like Gabe Sapolsky. And so I clicked in and looked further, and it was the mugshot of somebody who was arrested for a, they called him the dildo terrorist. He was, I don't know if he was driving or riding a bike, but he was throwing, it's actually a different one. It's not that guy, Steve. There's another mugshot. He did something we're going to talk about in a minute, but this guy was throwing dildos through windows, and they eventually got him. It might have been Gabe Sapolsky. I know he's, he was out of work for a while, but um, <clears throat> so I-, I Through do, car windows? No, homes. Oh, home windows. Yeah. Like you're sitting down with your wife. You're watching a, a, a rerun of Love Boat. And a fucking giant black shanker with purple veins hits you in the back of the head. If Virgil's Everybody, not in the room, you're very confused. It's, tw it's 2023 fucking violence is at all-time high, and you're sitting around with your fucking window open. And you're, you're, you're lucky you took a fucking dildo and not a fucking full metal around. jacket. Fuck. Hatchet. That's called home invasion we're fucking we're in Detroit. So I do a search for this to find out where this was, who this was, whatever. Just more on the story. And all these stories come up about airborne dildos. Here, this first one here, this guy, <laughs> apparently someone threw a dildo at Trump. Unless this is, is this a gimmick thing here or no? They got a they got a name and a, and everything in a city where it happened. So a, a dildo throwing at Trump. Then we've got this guy, this charming individual, who chose to. Uh, he was armed with thirty three dildos and he was throwing them at teenage girls in the street. Listen, some guys, you know, everyone's got a vice. Some guys. Hey, you know what? That, that that's almost like Johnny Appleseed. It that kind of <laughs> yes. <laughs> what the fuck? Then this was at a Bills game. Do you know a giant dildo got thrown onto the field that had stopped the Bills game? Buffalo. What was the guy's name? Yeah. <laughs> it made it to the end. It crossed the end zone, though, which which I was impressed by. You have the photo there? Can you scroll down in that one? dildo there? on the field. We're not seeing any of the action here. I mean, we didn't, were see. we getting censored on our own show now? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, somehow the FCC now governs uh, podcasts. But uh, if you caught that one, they, they got across the goal line, at least, with the, with the dildo, and it ended up in the end zone. Here we go. Oh. Or is that not the... No, it's a fucking... It's like an inch short. No, no, here, look, <laughs> look. Isn't it the... Can you zoom in there? Where is it? I saw a, a, somebody... There you go. That's the one right there. See it? Oh, broke the line. In. 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 Six. Six, six, any, six, any way you measure it. Six, six. <laughs> how, do, how would, how would, uh, how would Madden have called that one? <laughs> Somebody's got a shanker on the field. There he was, uh, responsible for. Uh, oh, a Florida man. <laughs> Imagine that, me working for you. Whoa, signs, signs, everywhere, signs. <laughs> Oh, man, Florida man, Florida man, Florida man. And then uh, this last one here, a uh, man accused of, oh, what was this one? He threw a, oh, a flaming, he wrapped a dildo in a flaming shirt. He lit it a fire and he threw it at his wife. So if you thought. Molotov he, dildo. Okay, Molotov cock. <laughs> yeah, Molotov yeah, just, cock. Perfect. If you thought you had a good breakup story, I bet it's uh, coming up short. No pun intended. Now, yeah. like I said, though, we, we talked about this a couple episodes ago. When you flip the channels and fucking ESPN2 has fucking cornholing on, and these guys are throwing bags, and they call it cornholing, and it's a bag going into a fucking round hole, how will you not fucking think the next progression is not a fucking... Uh, some kind of a pretty soon the fucking the javelin will be out of the fucking Olympics. They'll be throwing a fucking seventeen inch double dong fucking. I consider myself equally forty nine years old as I am still nineteen years old. So whenever I hear or see cornhole, I go right to it. Of course, and I mean that's that's so Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, 
Exactly. I mean, I'm sorry, I, I can't take you. And they're sitting there, and they got Red Bulls to sponsor, and the guys, you know, got. It's like when they used to fucking back in the day when you used to watch the Pro Bowler tour, and the guy would be like Earl Anthony or something like that. And you used to always like it because they had that fucking gimmick, and you knew that they existed because they had them at at your local bowling alley, and they had the thing that blew air if you pressed the button. And yeah, you know, on the yeah, ball return. Yeah, yes. and you, you yeah. press the button and go. Yeah, like, yeah, because your shit was getting fucked up, man. You got to dry your hands now so you can fucking get that fucking gimmick get some going. Spin. Get yeah. some spin. Get some spin. We'll put a little, uh, a little bit of powder. We'll grab the rosin bag. Yep. JP, <laughs> not sure if Kevin is up on the action figures that are released of him, but there was just a new generation era set released with Doink and himself together. Does he think this is a rib? There it is. You have so uh, let me tell you about. Do, do I know about this figure? They fucking charged two 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 hundred and fifty bucks, and they did basically a GoFundMe on this new generation set. So they weren't going to make it until they fucking ha had basically one point two five million up front, and I think they ended up like doing close to nine thousand. Of, of but they added a Randy Savage. Uh, figure that's that's coming out too, but I'm just curious that 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 means if they did eight, which it puts uh, at five percent puts twenty five thousand dollars on each mill, so mm. who just, put that yeah, out? Who was just, the company that uh, that was the WWE. Huh. They did it as, as a yeah. As a go so funder. so in case anybody knows that Mr. Nash is is um has already done the math and I'll be expecting that October first next next quarter <laughs> October baby next check. 